welcome to my YouTube channel and a new video. Today I am documenting my week 16 in my family album and I like to use mixed media backgrounds to either fill a pocket or use as a layer behind the photo. So I filmed the process to make a small tutorial and I am starting off with four different kinds of distress oxide and I'm using watercolor paper from Florence. I am dipping the ink in uh, on a plastic bag and then I spray it with water so it becomes kind of a watercolor effect and then I'm just going through my pages uh, to make sure that each color is spread around the page. I have cut out the part where I blow dry every, every layer uh, so the next layer um, when you edit you have to make sure that the first layer is completely dry because it is water uh, active so if otherwise it will just be one big blob of color. I am doing the same thing with this red, only I splatter it on my page because I don't want very large pieces of the red and this way it's a bit more manageable. And I continue to do this uh, until I'm satisfied and you can see me with the water sprayer to make it a bit more uh, watery. But I can control where the red is going a bit better this way instead of when I'm using the plastic bag to uh, make the splatters. So I have used all four colors and I've used the same technique. So now that all the colors are in their place, I'm pulling out some mixed media stems or background stems and I am just going to put them all over my page. And this might seem like a super busy spread and it is, but I'm going to cut it in pieces. So either four by six or three by four inch. So they will go either in a pocket or in uh, behind a photo. And what I like about it is that every, every card will be different and I am trying to make sure that there are stems and splatters and ink all around uh, the page so that when or where I cut it, you will see all the different elements from this page. So I am using about three or four different stem sets and I'm using the black ink, but I'm also using the same colors of the Distress Oxide that I've used for my background so that there are different color stems but they all match each other. So the one is more watercolor effect and as you can see me now with the red stamp, it is more bright because it is not thinned with water. So I continue to do this until my page is completely covered with stems.
So now that I am completely happy with all the stems, I have some white ink and I splatter around the page just to give some extra interest and some more white uh, as an extra layer. And once this is dry, I can cut it up and use it for my pocket pages or any else. You can tuck it into your planner as a layer and I'm using it for my pocket page. So that is the next part of this video. I went ahead and I cut out all my photos and I went, this is the mixed media paper that we made, cut by four by six. So most of it is covered with paper, with the photo, but that's okay. There will be small stripes of the mixed media paper popping in and out of this uh, pocket page. This is uh, documenting week 16 and the first photo that you saw was me and my son and uh, we had a doctor's appointment so we were just waiting to be picked up. The second photo is from a book that I won for a reading challenge, a book club, so I'm very excited for that book to arrive um, and to have the discussion about this book. And then the third photo that I am working on is um, <laughs> it's uh, meat for my husband. He loves lamb uh, and it's not very easy to come by. So we had to drive and get the, the meat, but it's all nice in the freezer. So he's excited, but it's kind of a scary photo. So I apology, my apologies. <laughs> um, I wasn't completely content with the red of the mixed media, so I decided to take it off and add some more of the design paper. And this design paper and the embellishments is, are the new collection from Masterpiece Design. And it's very bright, has a lot of colors, and I'm super excited to continue working with this collection. On the left side, I'm going to make a big number 16 using dies from Masterpiece Design because, well, they did, this is week 16 after all. And then on the right side of this pocket page, I will type out some journaling um, and I will do that off camera because I need my phone for that. <laughs> so I will add some photos to this video and then uh, of the completed project. So right now I'm going through all of the embellishments. Usually there are three, three package, one with words, one with uh, die cuts and one with labels. So I'm going through all of them and um, just pick out the ones that I like the best with this spread. And it's so funny though, because in this package there were like scary monsters and frogs. And when I saw it, I'm like, I don't have any photos of animals and frogs. But my daughter made a uh, yeah, marsupine, I'm not sure the English word, I'm sorry. But she made this little frog at school, so it was perfect <laughs> to document um, and use the little frog that is in the die cut. So I was super excited that I had a matching photo with the die cut. So once I have glued everything into place, I am going to add a little black line so that it will stand out better as you will see in the photos that I'm adding behind the video. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoy this process video and I cannot wait to see you all again next week. Thank you for watching. Bye!